First of all, a warm Tashi Dede and a very good morning to everyone. And I am Tenzin Norji, working as Office Secretary at here, Moon Court Settlement Office. Your Excellency, it's a great privilege to have you here among us, and even more so for taking our time on your busy schedule. Uh, we have here today our chief guest, uh, Honorable Sri Pema Khandaji, Chief Minister of Arunachal Pradesh. Uh, we have Honorable uh, MLA Sri Prabhat Chalingji and Karmaji, and also other esteemed dignitaries. Uh, here we, uh, we also have our Chief Representative Officer, Sir Jimmy Sujimla, uh, our local assembly uh, speaker, Kishir uh, Nathanyadala, our settlement officer, Madam Papa, the original committee of the Freedom Movement, chairman of the Society, uh, our full principal, uh, Mr. Sakha Nathanyadala, and of course, in front of you, uh, these are our leading community leaders. Uh, we call this group Papa uh, Institute. Papa Institute of India, Papa is association group. And then we have uh, nine major ones representing all administrators. And then we have uh, our settlement officer. Honorable Chief Minister Shri Pema Khanduji, Honorable MLAs, the Chairman and the Director of Boka, Jilla Parishad Chairman, and also we have the Commissioner and the two OSDs and the other dignitaries. It is indeed a great honor for all of us here in this settlement, which my very young office secretary has just briefly introduced. As you can see, office secretaries like him, they are the youth who we try to mushroom in our society with both traditional as well as modern knowledge and experience. Now this member of 26 SOPA or association, they are the one who really take the responsibilities to make everything happen from planning to execution and to evaluation. Having said that, I was once here a settlement officer from 2017 to, 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 till 2018, almost for one year, four months here. And prior to that, as I briefly shared with you, since I am born and brought up in the northern part of India, in Dehradun, where we have the residential land, but we don't have the cultivation land. I have seen here that we have a total land of 4,045, which other details my colleague T.S.O. Manu will share and present before you. But as I said, this land is specially blessed by these two monastic universities we have. Jepung Monastery and the Gandhian Monastery University. At the same time, at the same time, at the same time, this has also been blessed by His Holiness. The Kala Chakra initiation that His Holiness has given here in the year 1995. So therefore, well, I don't see a point to say further that how important and how sacred this place is. From the first settlement officer 
TC Tedola to now we have Madam Lapa Dumala, a transition that we have seen in the last 60 plus years from traditionalization to modernization, from Sanskritization to Westernization. So these are all the process of the Tibetans in exile, particularly the journey from black and white to color, which is a, which is a story itself. We have many things to say, but I know that this cannot be done today since we have a limited time. I was told yesterday, yesterday that I have to finish my address within five minutes. I try to finish within two and a half minutes. <laughs> so today, I'm sure my colleague, Madam, will elaborate more on some of the projects here. But yes, as long as you live being a human being or being a community, you have unending challenges. But these challenges has to be seen, which is very urgent, which is very helpful, and which is very sustainable in terms of not only your community, but community in large. Therefore, Bahujan Sukhai, Bahujan Dukhai. This is the main theme that we go forward with. And having said that, I'm sure Honorable Shri Ramakandaji, during this last more than almost 48 hours that you've been here, we have seen yesterday, in fact, while I was moving with Shri Kirmeji, I happened to witness the chairman and then the, uh, the director of the Doka. They were also having a visual and the experience, experience of the Hagar Korshe here, just next to you. And I found that the you know, the participants are very happy to have a member all the way from Bipa. <laughs> and we used to say that Tipa is there, but what is Bipa? But then I came to know Bipa is born Institute of Performing Arts, which I'm sure, as I, as I shared with some other colleagues, that this is how that we generate the culture and we try to, we try to extend more of this fragrance of the Buddhist culture that we all share, either here or there. With the blessing of His Holiness, the one and only that we all aspire, what we have seen in Ladakh, especially in the month of July when His Holiness visited this time, second time after the COVID pandemic, and then the people, those who came in the street in the protest of what happened in this year, March, trying to malign His Holiness through the social media, from Tawang to Diram, I think these are some of the virtues that we really cherish. With these words, I'm sure that our cultural, our traditional, our religious roots are very deep and much deeper that I'm not entitled to make any comment on that. So with these words, thank you very much for your presence here, the settlement, the member of 26 Association, they keep on changing unless some principals and the doctors but other than this, the, the camp leaders, they, almost, they are usually elected for one year. So I used to joke them that they are my deputy commandants. So I've been here with these words. Thank you very much for your presence here. I look forward to have more engagement in the future. Thank you. Thank you.
deep gratitude and a profound sense of honor representing the resilient non-Tibetan community. Honorable CM sir, your presence here signifies the friendship and brotherhood between our community and the people of Karnataka Pradesh. We are truly privileged by your visit. This settlement is one of the settlements proposed by Central Tibetan Administration in the early 1960s to the government of India. Thus, the government of India, in consultation with the state government of Karnataka, agreed to provide 4,045 acres of mostly forest land. The initial challenges were met with unity and resilience as settlers worked together on a cooperative basis to build a foundation for their new lives. The Uling Tibetan settlement is one of the largest settlements in India, Nepal, and Bhutan. Presently, our population is around 13 to 14,000, including monks and nuns. We have 10 villages and nine major monasteries, three schools, two main sikhang, and one allocated hospital. We have a cooperative society as well. The population mainly do agriculture, winter sweater, selling business, and various occupations. As you are well aware, the settlement is headed by a settlement officer known as the representative for Department of Home Central Development Administration. He or she is responsible for the overall welfare and administration of the settlement. The officer, the office of the representative has taken great strides for the upliftment of the poor and needy and elderly by way of providing stipends. The health of the population there by making them fighting fit by providing safe drinking water and toilet facilities to the settlers. And third, nurturing the children education by way of finding sponsors for poor, needy, and deserving students as part of the guidance of guidelines from the Department of Home City. And fourth one is encouraging agriculture activities among the settlers and more importantly in encouraging organic and natural farming practices. And last but not least, to maintain and develop communal harmony, brotherhood, and compassion to one and all. These are the main objectives as a settlement officer. I'm doing my best. There are numerous requirements and requests has been made to me, but be it, uh, be it sanitation, educational and school requirements, infrastructure improvement, but due to shortage of fund, I could not able to do anything. Handling numerous requests with limited funds can indeed be challenging. So at this juncture, we have identified two crucial projects that can significantly enhance the lives of our community. First one is the construction of community hall for camp number 10. The camp number 10 under the under Kashyap vision to provide affordable shelters to the most vulnerable families and individuals in the Excel community. One called camp number 10, it's called Pende Colony, with 40 houses for newly arrived Tibetan family has been built by the Department of Home. CTA through the Mongol Tibetan Settlement Office and recently inaugurated by uh, Home Secretary. Unlike other camps, they don't have community hall in their camp for meetings, cultural events, and religious ceremonies. So we seek assistance with a budget of 53 something lakh to realize this vital project. Second, though you have already addressed this, uh, but the second project involves the installation of Solar Street like from Gandhi University to Daepung University. This initiative aims to enhance safety and convenience for approximately 14,000 beneficiaries, including monks, lay, laymen, and students. Beyond the practical benefit, this project will contribute to a web, vibrant and secure environment for both the Tibetan and local communities. We seek support for 40, 72 posts with an estimation cost of this project is 10, like so your excellency your support and for this project will not only address critical needs within our community but also symbolize the enduring bond between the tibetan people and the people of Arunachal Pradesh. this initiative aligns with the spirit of collaboration and progress and reaching the lives of all who call Montgomery their home in, con in conclusion i ex express once again our sincere gratitude for your solidarity towards the Tibetan peoples, especially to 
people of um, people who listen as much as the fish. Thank you, thank, thank you for your valuable time. Thank you. Uh, thank you, madam. Now I humbly request <coughs> Your Excellency Shilpama Kanduji to address our community leaders. Um, the Chief uh, Settlement Officer, Mr. Chigmela, and uh, Settlement Officer of uh, Degeling Tibetan Settlement, uh, Madam Napa Dolmala. So, uh, present here all the dignitaries from uh, the community leaders and from also from the settlement uh, uh, camps and the office bearer of this settlement office. So, along with me, uh, Mr. Prupa Sering, Mr. Dorji Wandi Karma, the both are MLA from one region, uh, Buddhidang and uh, Kalakta. And uh, the chairman department of Karmic and Adhyamic, which uh, Jigmila was mentioning, uh, Mr. Jamme Wandila, he's the chairman. And actually, engineer Gandan La, he's the director. And Solon Chambe La, he's my commissioner to CM. And La Nol La, he's our uh, senior monk from Tawang Monastery. And Degi Gombula, he's the head of panchayat of the district Tawang. Senior leader, uh, Shirabla. So along with me, you know, senior leaders from the region who are sitting in the, uh, the backside of, uh, from Tawang and West Gaming. So indeed, it's an honor to be here in the settlement office. So this time, as you are aware that my visit, uh, uh, I, I'm here for last uh, uh, two days, in fact. So basically, my primary visit uh, was for Gandan. Uh, yesterday, we had a very grand occasion as uh, you all must have also witnessed uh, the Sochin Turku for our uh, His Eminence, the Lagila Rinpoche. So since I thought that when I'm here, I should uh, spend a few more time so that uh, I can know the, I, I can know very closely, especially the various institutions and monasteries that what are the difficulties uh, they are facing so that I can take it at my level and also in Government of India level also as well. So in my yesterday's uh, speech also I have mentioned the uh, relation of, uh, you know, especially Arunachal Pradesh with Tibet and in context to His Holiness. So likewise, uh, I always keep on saying and today is also a very good opportunity to express uh, thanks to the Tibetan community. Uh, despite of all the challenges, uh, uh, you know, being a new country to you, but even though uh, with the blessings of His Holiness, uh, you all have been able to establish uh, big monasteries and you know to carry forward the rich traditions and more particularly our uh, Buddhist uh, religion. So saying so, His Holiness always uh, uh, you know uh, given uh, like uh, the future of uh, Buddhism uh, that especially the Himalayan range, uh, Himalayan uh, region should take a very uh, sensible responsibility to take it forward. So across the time, as you all have also witnessed, that uh, the three establishment, if you talk about the Kelu sect, like uh, Sera, Jebung, and Gadar. So earlier times, you know, all the monks and everything was dominated by uh, the monks, especially from Tibet only. But gradually, you know, like slowly, slowly, I can see that dominance has been taken over by the Himalayan belt, starting from Ladakh to Arunachal Pradesh. So then I felt like, you know, it, it should be a responsible of the government also to, you know, take care of such institutions. They also need to have a hand holding, hand holding of all these institutions. So religiously, uh, we are like all same, uh, maybe country-wise, you know, we are from different countries. But our religious practices and our culture are like all same only. So uh, Tibetan uh, the senior leaders they have played a very vital role in preserving the rich culture and heritage uh, of our uh, religion and culture. So likewise, uh, now the challenges is, is that you know the younger generations they have to take it forward. This is a very big challenge, in fact, for all of us. So in that way, you know. Uh, more particularly in context of Arunachal Pradesh, we have established the department of Karmic and Adhyamic. So from where we fund the religious institutions and uh, from there also we give stipends to the uh, various institutions where Arunachal uh, uh, monks and nuns are also studying. 
so slowly slowly you know uh, i'm in the process to handhold the educational institutions uh, like big monastic institutions you know abi uh, just a few minutes back i was there in this uh, gandan charse there also i found like uh, more than 300 plus students are there in uh, that monastery school so slowly slowly government should also fund and already i have discuss the matter with national leaders also as well so likewise as i have mentioned uh, that in all those uh, monastic institutions uh, people from uh, india like uh, ladakh uh, uttarakhand himachal sikkim and arunachal pradesh uh, they have the maximum numbers now so slowly slowly you know it, uh, it is upon the government that uh, we should take the responsibility and definitely i being a very well wisher of the tibetan community i will take it uh, forward and back in my state also you all are aware that we have the three four settlement area so i try my best to help all this uh, settlement area and it it's a very pride moment for all of us that recently uh, the bio settlement area which is also known for its uh, carpet making industry so i got it uh, gi tag also gi tag for the bio carpet so likewise uh, as arunachal pradesh uh, i think many of you must have been to arunachal pradesh arunachal pradesh is also a very different kind of state like in in my state we are total around 26 different tribes we don't understand each other language uh, every tradition and customs they are totally different and if you talk about religious uh, uh, inhabitants uh, the buddhist part uh, we are in like a uh, small community rest if you talk about religion as a whole they are majority they are christians and after that few portions of indigenous they have also a good number but overall if you take the size then arunachal as a whole christian is the major dominating religion in arunachal pradesh so likewise uh, uh, the culture every tribe has their own beauty and you know that, that thing Uh, so i'm trying my best you know not only uh, to carry forward the this culture of the mon area but also our different tribes they you know uh, uh, whatever culture background they belong i always encourage to carry forward their culture and traditions also as well so anyway today i again i have to attend a function at jemu uh, uh, monastery so anyway i must thank uh, each and every one of you and uh, yesterday also i have mentioned that Uh, if there is anything that government of Karnataka can also do, please do let me know so that I can take up the matter with the Honorable Chief Minister of Karnataka. And I have also met the local MLA yesterday only. So the street light which uh, Madam Rafal was mentioning, it, I have already uh, spoken to the MLA. Uh, based on your uh, this application, I will write a, a do note to uh, the local MLA as well as to the government. So apart from that, you know, uh, it's the basic uh, duty of the government uh, to keep to, to uh, provide the basic uh, facilities like roads, light, and water, and healthcare facilities. Like these are the basic kind of facilities which all the state government or the central government is is our own responsibility. So likewise, in all these sectors, if there are any kind of lacuna. So, so please, uh, Jimena, do let me know uh, through a writing so that I can take it forward to either in state level or Karnataka government level or in government of India level also as well. You can treat me like an ambassador to uh, ambassador from the Tibetan side to government of India. You can always treat me like your own. So, regarding the first point, which uh, Madam Dupal has mentioned that uh, yesterday I was briefed. Uh, in total, you are having around uh, old nine camps are there. Additional ten camps. is been uh, now recently being started uh, for the new settlers so mm -hmm. there also is uh, here it is mentioned that due to some financial crisis is being uh, a bit difficult to uh, get it operationalized so as an well wisher of tibetan community uh, i will also donate uh, say around 30 lakhs a personal donation from my side uh, so with this uh, thank you so much and we'll keep on meeting and once again on behalf of the people of arunachal pradesh and entire himalayan region i thank all the uh, tibetan community for extending such a you know wonderful institutions uh, to us and uh, making us part of uh, part of the process in preserving our rich uh, re religious heritage to uh, you
Thank you so much for your kind words, sir. Next, uh, I request our Madam Papa Kamala to felicitate uh, your Excellency Sri Pemakaruchi on the behalf of Tibetan people and offer a small Buddha statue from our 26 community leaders, Papa Mishitaru, and a brief biographic book on his holiness the Pote Dalai Lama as a token of love and gratitude.
तुझको Holiness the great fort in Dalai Lama, long live, long life, intent Tibet and friendship. Jai Hind, Jai Hind, Jai Hind. Thank you, India. Thank you, His Holiness. Thank you. <laughs>